All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also to you women and children. Keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. For those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh Shai meaning he saves or he is the deliverer. Racha Kodash, the Spirit Holy, pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Apelio Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, a.k.a. the Holy Tongue. Salakia. Um, Alright, I just had a yawn real quick. Alright, I'm your brother Bashar. I'm coming at y'all with a quick lesson. Uh, but first and but last, definitely not least. Um, um, again, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai meaning. Uh, the Heavenly Father's beloved Son, who the Lord ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay. And, uh, so you want to put Baha Shem in between, uh, the name of Heavenly Father and the name of His Son, and the name of His, and also in between the name of His Heavenly Father, and also in the, between the name of the Holy Spirit, the Racha Kodash. The Racha Kodash. And that's how you pray to the, that's how you begin your prayers. When you trying to make your request known, or just simply when you want to, you know, speak to the Lord, when you want to make a prayer up to the Lord. But without further ado, um, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter one, and we're gonna fast forward down to the 13th verse, Salakia 14 verse, and um, and we're gonna read, "The great day of the Lord is near; it is near." And hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Let's read that again. As it, um, uh, Zephaniah chapter one verse fourteen. The great day of, of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is near. Call Halachim la Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai one before. It is near, and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, okay, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of cloud. As friend of the show, David Sirota shared with us last like it. that's an article that I'm, I'm going to bring out later in this video. Verse 15 again. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, and a, and distress. A day of wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. Okay. So that was the point. I'm going to read on some more. But, um, you know, the point is, where is that verse 15? Okay. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. And why am I, uh, you know, expounding upon this point in this verse? It's because, you know, we've been experiencing over here in western New York. Um, um, a lot of, uh. You know, activity going on in the heavens. Meaning, um, there's a lot of uh, smoke being put into the air. You know, to toxic toxins are being pushed into the air. And this is uh, uh, the prophecy being fulfilled. Because ultimately what they want with, with these elites, which, you know, these elites are, are, are doing these things, okay? The, 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 the elites, um, you know, with the, the Rob Childs, 
Rockefellers, Dupont's. Okay, those are the uh, the, the, the one, uh, some uh, to name a few. A uh, one percent of that rule the world, you know. And these 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 top families, according to the Bible, are Edomites. Okay, but these are the elites of Edom. Okay, and they have an agenda and what they want to do is they want to blot out the sun okay what, what, uh, because ultimately what they want to do is do away with the Israelites okay because they want to receive that blessing back okay when you go into the book of Jeremiah the 31st chapter it speaks about how if the ordinance of the heavens you know you know depart that that will be the end of Israel, which we know that's not going to come to pass because the Lord said he wasn't going to do away with us. OK, he wasn't going to do away with 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 the Israelites, which will be so-called African-Americans, so-called Native Americans and so-called Hispanics and so-called Seminole Indians and, and so-called West Indians. OK. And you Israelites to be like unto the speckled bird because you were scattered amongst the other nations. Why? Because you were, um, because you were, uh, the, 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 the Israelites to be like unto the speckled bird who look like the other nations. Why? Because you were scattered amongst the other nations. Salakia. But let's, you know, from here, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. All right. So also, there's a link in the description that the beloved elder from, from the uh, GMS uh, Vegas sit-down camp, uh, Karatazar, um, he, 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 just, he, just, he just put together a, a, a video about this same subject and, and opening scripture. Is this, is this what we're about to get into right here? Okay, this is the book of Jeremiah, 31st chapter. I'm going to read at verse, we're going to start at verse 35. Thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Shai, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name, Yahweh Bashim Shai. If those ordinances depart from before me, Sev Yahweh Bashim Shai, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So this is their ultimate goal. This is what they want to do. They want to, um, you know, uh, cause those ordinances to depart. So they can try to get their blessing back. All right. So they're going to try to, you know, they, they, they can't destroy. They, they can't. Go past the Van, Van, the Van Allen belt to try to touch these other planets and just um, like t go, go go to the moon and go to, and go to the sun. They can't do that. So what they're going to do to try to do the next best thing and, and try to block out the sun, the light of the, uh, of the sun, moon and the stars by putting toxins in the air. OK. And again, if you go into that that clip, you know you you'll see. But um, but let's get some more scripture. Matter of fact, before we get some more scripture, I got some videos that I want to show because uh, I actually took some videos earlier today. Okay, so this was me driving past the Peace Bridge. You see how cloud, how clouds how cloudy it is. And for those of you who don't know what the Peace Bridge is, it's the bridge that connects from you know the United States, the the U.S., Babylon the Great, um, to 
Canada. Let's play the clip. We see how thick that clock, the, 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 what they're putting in the air is. Now, this is not fog. Right? This is like a mist. This is like, it's not even a mist. This is like a, uh, this is a, um, smoke that they're putting it in the air and they call it, they're blaming it on forest fires that's coming from Canada. But really what they want to do is bring in that martial law. They want to lock down the cities. And I got an article to prove that. But before we go, we go into the article, we're gonna. I got another video I want to show you. All right, so that's the moon right there. You see how you see the toxins? They're basically trying to block out the, the moon. All right. See how gloomy the the light is. It's reflecting off the moon. This is what they're trying to do. All right. It's lucky I had to roll up the windows. It's too much noise going on. All right. So this is a, a this this is an article that came out. You know, last year. All right. It says coming soon, which this is happening right now. Coming soon, climate lockdown. All right. And when you go into the article, it basically uh mentions. Climate lockdowns, you know. Let's get into another article. What is climate lockdowns? How is it could uh, fight global warming? Okay, these are different articles. And basically, what they want to do, they want to uh, reduce, basically, uh, lock down the cities again, so that people can't can't go from. You know, uh, come outside because they want what they want to do is reduce the carbs. Um, not the carbs, the uh, the carbon in the air, and 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 they're gonna use this 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 uh the the toxins. They're gonna put the toxins in the air and they're gonna use that. They're gonna use that as an excuse to have people to stop using their cars more. To 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 to. To basically stay in their houses, you know, don't come outside because it's it, it's a, it's a danger. Okay, okay, you oh you you keep you, you going to eat but so much meat because of, like what what the hell does e eating has to do with the carbon in, in the air, you know? But this is what they want to bring. This is what they're saying. Let's get into this article real quick. What is climate lockdown? Okay, being uh, at at the beginning of uh, so the fight, deadly viruses, the lower em emissions, another type of lockdown might need to be used. Climate lockdowns, okay? Uh, at the beginning of blah, 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 lockdown, where a necessary tool to fight off and controlling the deadly blank people stayed inside we went to the stores less uh didn't go out to eat and entertain and slacky entertained ourselves at home all the all to avoid exposure to the uh, to, to other people and for a minute, the earth started to reflect those actions. Emissions started increasing or decreasing. And it seemed that something positive was emerging out of the out of a negative situation. This experience, this experience rises, raises the, the question, could climate lockdowns help us tackle the climate crisis? Okay, so when you continue reading, it talks about how they want to stop people from, you know, these climate lockdowns are, are going to include 
Let's continue reading. Bear with me a second. Um, let's read right here. According to the World Business, uh, the uh, I thought would entail the government taking other actions aside from asking people to stay at home, l limiting private vehicle usage banning the consumption of red meat and imposing intense energy saving actions and putting an end to fossil fuels drilling and all examples are all examples of potential measures to be taken during a climate lockdown okay so <laughs> They want to bring about another crisis and lock down the cities. This is what they want to do. Also, they can bring in that martial law, which they don't, they don't need to, to do this. But according to the scriptures, man, what they want to do, they want to get rid of Israel, which is what Jacob's trouble is. It's going to be a deadly time for Israel. Two thirds of Israel, to be exact. And, you know, they're going to try to do away with Israel. You know, that's why it's called Jacob's trouble. And this is why they have to block out the, the sun. They, well, they're going to try to attempt to, you know, throw off the ordinances that are in the heavens. All right. And see if if that uh theory, if their theory was good enough to uh to, to, to try to do away with the Lord's people. The Israelites, again, which are you so-called African Americans, so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics, and you so you so-called Seminole Indians, and you so-called West Indians, All right? So um, they're gonna try to, uh, they're gonna, you know, these th these are just signs that that the Lord um gave us. And it shows us that we're entering into the other half of the, you know, pursuant to Matthew, the eighth chapter. Most likely the 24th chapter, the eighth verse. We're entering into the other part of the, uh, of the days of the Lord which are going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. You know, we, we've seen, and we know that they're about to roll and start Jacob's trouble because we've seen the, the military, uh, uh, you know, um, activity that's been going on over here in Babylon, the great, all different parts of Babylon, the great, but again, uh, which is America. Okay. So, you know, just keep your eyes peeled. Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified. Again, look into the description. Um, the brother or the elder Karataza from the um, Vegas sit down camp where, you know, from his channel is Vegas sit down. Make sure you subscribe and be edified. Um, and yeah, you know, just tune into that video that's in the, in, that's in the, in the description, subscribe, and, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was comforted, edified, and it was, uh, was, um, you know, just open up your, your eyes to see what's actually going on, and, and it persuades you to furthermore repent, you know, Lord willing, you brothers, again, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well, peace and salutations to the whole full elect out there, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also unto you women and children. Keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Till next time, Lord willing, you was edified. Shalom.